Hello again and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today's video then, as you already know, is the first of my series about my time out in Switzerland uh, on the trip organised by the school's physics department. In today's video then, I'm going to be talking about just a brief overview of what to expect in the next few days. So without further ado, let's get started. Overall then, this trip will last five days and four nights. Uh, we will be departing on Thursday, the second of Feb, and we will be and we will be returning Monday, sixth of Feb. We will so on the day then we leave. That's Thursday now we're talking about. On the day we leave, we will leave school straight after school, just after getting changed and stuff. I'll see if I can squeeze in a video on that day because it will probably add up quite nicely if I make a video on the day that we're due to leave. So we are due to leave straight after school and we will be heading to Birmingham International Airport and we will be checking in for a flight to Geneva. Uh, we check in at 5.45 and the flight will leave at 7.45 that night. We will get to Geneva, we will get to Switzerland after a three and a half hour flight at 22.30 local time, that's 10.30 at night for, uh, for everyone else and then um, and then we'll be moving on to the next day after getting some sleep at our accommodation so next morning then, now we're talking about Friday first of all we will visit and excuse me if I pronounce some of the stuff wrong in this video because I've never heard of any of it before so we will be visiting the um, uh, a chocolate shop. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it because it's quite difficult. We'll be visiting a, a chocolate place on Friday morning, first thing. And then afterwards, a couple of hours later, we will visit the, uh, I think it's pronounced Sauvigny Observatory. don't know how to pronounce it. If any of you would like to correct me, then uh, feel free to do so. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be going to an observatory. And then in the afternoon, we will have a guided tour of the UN Palace of Nations. Don't actually know too much about that place, but we'll find out. That's the whole point of this series. Uh, after our guided tour, we will get a visit to the History of Science Museum. Uh, after our museum visit, we have a lake cruise Swiss boat. Enjoy a pleasant cruise on the spectacular Lake Geneva. Sounds quite interesting. Uh, I think I'll have to uh, make sure I've got spare memory for that then on my phone. Good job it's a 256 gig iPhone that I'm doing it on. Gosh. Saturday the 4th of Feb then. So after, so that was all on Friday. Sounds like a busy day, but sounds like a lot of fun. On the Saturday then, 4th of February, uh, at, on that morning at 10 o'clock we will visit CERN's exhibition. I think that's going to be the main attraction of the trip, that will definitely be the highlight, looking at some of the stuff on paper. So at 10 o'clock we will visit CERN's exhibition. CERN's permanent exhibitions allow students to explore world of particles in unique and spectacular ambience. Can't wait for that, sounds really good already. Uh, and then we will have some lunch, after some lunch we have a guided tour of CERN. If they now. With CERN being, of course, one of the European research facilities, I don't know if they'll be allowing filming, but I can try. Because the whole point of me doing this series of videos is that I want to try and give you the best insight I possibly can through the lens of my camera. I want those of you who might be watching further down the line, you might be future Rosh boys watching this in class, I don't know. If so, hi from the past. But I want... So one day, not only I can not only so I can look back on it and relive the moments, but also I want to say if you're watching this in class one day, I want you to be able to see what it was like. I want you to see just how good this was. Anyway, going off on a tangent there. Now let's go back to the video then. So after so we we were on about after lunch we had our guided tour of CERN. Uh, after the guided tour. We will have a restaurant meal at uh, restaurant Edelweiss, I think that's how it's pronounced. Enjoy a traditional Swiss fondue to the tune of live uh, <coughs> folkloric band. 
I don't know how to say it actually throughout the tune at all. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. We'll find out when we get to it. Now, Saturday done. Sunday the fifth of February. Once again, breakfast at hostel. Yeah. Uh, so that morning we will have a two-hour train ride from Geneva. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Gen some train station in Geneva. We'll be going to visit Einstein's house. Ooh, cool. Albert Einstein's house. So, 10.30 then we will be visiting Museum Einstein House, or Einstein's House Museum, basically. Once the, once the apartment of Albert Einstein, it was here he wrote the... <laughs> I'm sorry, just like the paper and it sounds something quite funny on it. I, I don't know how to pronounce the paper, um... Anus, uh, I don't know what papers, we'll find out when we get there. With where he wrote one of his famous papers, I should assume, and developed the special theory of relativity in the first decade of the 20th century. Ooh, sounds, uh, sounds quite interesting. I wonder if we'll get to talk about gravity waves as well, since we've discovered those now as humanity. Anyway, after our visit to Einstein's house, we will visit the uh, the town Burns Old Quarter. Stroll through the old town and discover Swiss capital and uh, something World Heritage site. Uh, after that, what, so after that stroll around town, we have a visit to the Einstein Museum. Now, don't get that confused with Einstein's House Museum. Einstein's House, obviously, is Einstein's house. A visit to Einstein Museum, some 550 original projects and replica, 70 films and numerous animations outline the biography of the genius Einstein and his groundbreaking discoveries, including a guided tour. Ooh. You know, it really sounds like we're going to be here for a while watching these videos, to be honest. At 4 o'clock, at uh, 4.30... We will leave Burn train station and uh, we'll go back to accommodation and I should soon get some sleep. Monday the 6th of February. Oh, it's coming to the end now. We will leave at quarter to nine and we will be checking in at Geneva at 9.20 for our flight back to England. So our flight leaves at 11.20, get there at 9.20, sounds about right. Uh, to be honest, it's we're only flying one of the budget airlines, so let's face it, there's not a lot to talk about, is there? I know I like my planes, and speaking of flying, once again, I've already said this in the past, but last time I'd had Cathay Pacific's first class, this year I've got BA first class, British Airways first class, coming July 2017, so that's coming in July this year, it's only five months away now, that's really not far, even though I booked it back in July. I have to say, the last one was really, really amazing experience. I've got to try it again at some point in my life. Don't know when, but let's hope it can be in the next uh, couple of decades. So 11.20 then, we will depart, our flight will depart, and uh, we will get back at 12.15 local time, back to Birmingham. And we should be back at school by about 2 o'clock. Now when we get back, the plan is, I'm going to... As I as I now do with uh, as I did with yesterday's video, well the video as of now as of the day it was recorded, uh, 20, uh, the thirtieth of January, I published the hot rod and cool customs one yesterday, and um, structure went said some things before like I do now, saying a few things before we go, and then go and then just a few things to sum up on upon return. So I'll do the same. On that day, on Monday then, it will be, basically the structure will go, leave the place, return to England, say a few things, sum up, thank everyone for watching again. And um, that should be it, by the looks of it. So now that we've had a look at what to expect, I'm certainly already very excited. I hope you are as well. And of course, by the time you're watching this, you can just... Follow the link and click onto the first video, which will be on the day we depart. So, okay, now that so now that I've said everything that I needed to say, just one more thing before I finish off, and that is, 
answering a question that not only I've asked myself a lot, and also quite a few others have asked me around school as well. And that question is, what's the whole point of me doing videos like these? I personally have asked myself that question numerous times as well, and the answer to that actually is, for fun. Purely for fun, because in the past, I've been taking some of my interesting experiences, such as flying at Cosford, and I've been making little videos out of them. Not big, but big enough. I've been making these videos out of them, and actually it's quite fun, really, uh, making these videos afterwards, because not only is it about sharing the experience, about letting others see the experience through my eyes and my through my camera lens, but it's also quite a joy to look back on as well whilst editing. And you see some of the bits, sure enough, there are some bits that um, get cut out. There's quite a lot of bits that get cut out. Not every take is a good take, but that's the whole point of the fun. It's that process of doing it. And sometimes it can be long and dull, but when it's done, it will all be worth it. And so really, going back to answering the question then of... Why am I making these videos? Now, the main reason I'd say is one day so I can look back on it and think, wow, I'm so glad I did all of this stuff. But another reason that may or may not sound a bit silly at this point is one day, not only do I want myself to look back on it, but I don't know where these videos might end up. It could be, for example, with this series, one day one of my teachers... Uh, decides to show it to some of their future students when they're no longer running the trip so they can see what what sort of how much we've enjoyed it and even if they don't get to go they'll get to see what we did and they'll get to see what it's all about and and personally I mean I've seen some really cool trips in the past from school that I never got to go to um, but the one problem is sometimes Sure enough, you get an article in a school magazine about it, but it's one of those things where writing simply doesn't suffice. And it's really hard to get your head around the experience without actually seeing anything from it in person. So the whole point is, not only do I get to look back at it and relive the moments, but it's also for um, those of you further down the line to be able to see what we got to experience. To be able to enjoy the experience as well uh, from a third person view through my camera lens. And that's a feeling I don't know how to put into words. Let's just hope it all turns out that way. Anyway, I think I've talked enough now. I'm getting a bit tired of talking. Thank you very much for watching again. And I'll see you in the next video which will be on the day we depart.